there are tons of free HDRIs available for your projects. But sometimes, don't you just wish that building wasn't there? Or if you designed that mountain range, it would be higher. And how about a little water? Well, NVIDIA have listened to my rumblings and released this. Gergen 360 Beta at SIGGRAPH 2022. It's an AI-powered 360 environment creation tool available here at this address. This will let you create your own environment HDRIs for your Blender scene. And with Blender's asset browser functionality, let you save that custom HDRI as an asset. Check out the introduction video from the link below. Also, check out one of the previous AI-powered apps from NVIDIA, including Gargan 2 for 2D image creation, or NVIDIA Canvas, available as a desktop application. You do need one of the NVIDIA RTX GPUs for Canvas. To use Gergen 360, you need to read and agree to the terms and conditions before the app becomes functional. We start with what looks like the default cube UV. We can select the style from the ribbon here first. This will be the starting point of the 360 image. Then to get a preview, we can click render output. That will take a little time to render. If you have your own environment texture and want to use that as a style, and of course you do, as this is a major feature, then you can upload one below here in JPG, JPEG or PNG. The finished image can be downloaded from here, or if you want to save the segmentation map, do that here. On the left side is the material palette with categories for ground, landscape and plant. If we open landscape, all materials are listed. With water selected, make sure paintbrush is enabled. Set the size up top and reduce this to maybe 20. You can change the brush shape here and then just paint on the water material. Each material is assigned a different color. With that, we can update to view the changes and give that a few moments to update. While we wait, we can choose the mountain material and start creating some mountains. If any areas remain unfilled, use the bucket fill tool to quickly fill them in. I'll update those changes and wait for this to update. The final material will be sky, so I can fill this remaining section in with the bucket fill. Then render the image again and see how this is going. If you get blotches, it may be that there are dots left from the bucket fill, so I can finish painting this over. Now update this again. If you want to save this segmentation map, you can from the save button here. This is still in beta development, so expect additional features when this gets rolled out further. With the landscape texture complete, let's come and save this. Navigate to folder and save the image. Let's open Blender now and add in this image. If you haven't seen my video on creating your own asset library in Blender, then I'd recommend checking that out and that will get you set up. If we open the World tab, here I can remove the HDRI first. If you click the yellow dot beside Color, you can pick an environment texture from the list here. Then click Open and navigate to where you just saved the image we created. Now add this in here. This is now our environment texture, so switching to Rendered will display that. What's even better is if we right click on the world settings, we can mark this as an asset. Then in the current file and unassigned, we can have the HDRI to use in any blend file. This is the asset browser editor and you can change that here. So you can use the Gergen app to create your own library of HDRIs very easily.